Hello everybody, welcome to the channel Property Wealth Decoded. My name is Harvey. Temperatures in Singapore have been warm recently, but is the property market cooling? So will prices drop in 2022 for HDB? HDB is the go-to segment for most Singaporeans. Most of us would have likely grown up in a HDB estate. The familiarity of the segment surely has to be the best marketing tool, which is precisely why I think this segment is going to behave quite differently from private. Point number one, HDB is the most bang for buck product in the market right now. The cheapest per square foot with the biggest space. Now point two, HDB is not differentiated by freehold or leasehold. It is a level playing field in that regard. Point number three, there are grants. Example, proximity grant, family grant, enhanced CPF grant, you name it. Now, these are all boosters to your purchase. Now, private gets none of that. So this is possibly the new sandwich class product in Singapore. Looking at the past, EC was always pitched as a sandwich class product. But the reality is that EC prices in recent times have been relatively strong. Price per square foot of above 1,200 per square foot is no stranger, which maybe in a not too long ago history, you can still buy private at $1,200 per square foot. Example, like Treasure at Tampanese. Now with that being said, I think HDB will face a different 2022. Point number one, quantum is going to be more important than ever. Now why is that so? With prices scaling up, just an example, in December, a median price three-room flat in Pasir Ris was actually around 495k. Prices cannot continue to escalate without consideration to cash over valuation. And of course, coupled with HLE dropping 5 points from 90 to 85, HLE being loans taken from HDB, the truth is there will be some impact to cash over valuation. And with that, quantum price of HDB will be relatively capped. Point number two. Older leaseholds may not matter as much as location, and this still applies in 2022. Now, I make this point from the value perspective. The fact is, if you are going to be price sensitive, but location is very important, the leasehold age is going to be less of your concern. You can't have the cake and eat it. Thus, buyers will probably still hit for all mature estates with all the amenities as well. Point three. HDB locations with new launches may benefit from a value play perspective. An example of Landtor government land sale new launch is being widely touted to be above $2,000 per square foot. Could play to the value perspective of older leases of say, Amokyo flats as well because people may feel that it's cheaper there to buy a flat than ever before. So locations with new launches may bring new price point perspectives again to older flats around the area. Point number four, central location million dollar flats should continue its bull run. The buyers of these flats are likely downsizing from previous homes or value buyers comparing it against condo. Personally, I think this segment should still see lots of interest. In summary, I think if prices of private properties continue to move to combat inflation, then HDB should be the bigger winner in 2022 with prices remaining strong. For the reasons above, I think HDB should continue its rather safe and steady price gains in 2022. Now, if you like what you have watched and heard so far, do like, share and subscribe to the channel. See you in my next video. Thank you.